To name this video, the reproach that they have for God falls on us. So, um, in Romans chapter 15, verse 3, it says, For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. And that was Romans 15, verse 3. And then in Psalm 69, verse 9, or verses 7 through 9, it says, because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. And then um, in First Samuel chapter 8, verse 7 and 8, it says, And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. So I just wanted to make a quick video about that, you know, just remember, if you're a Christian, the reason they hate you is because you have Christ in you. It's not that they hate you. They hate who you stand for. And, you know, they actually hate God. They direct it towards you, but they don't understand that they actually hate God. So, I thought you might like that and be strengthened by it. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye. And I'll keep it hush.